ඔබ ඉංග්‍රීසි භාෂාවෙන් අමතන ලෙස ඉල්ලීමක් කර පරිදි මම ඉංග්‍රීසියෙන් කතා කරන්නම් වයිස් චාන්සලර් ප්‍රොෆෙසර් ලියනගේ ඩීන් ඔෆ් ද ෆැකල්ටි ඔෆ් අප්ලයිඩ් සයන්සස් ප්‍රොෆෙසර් සුබ සිංහ මෙම්බර්ස් ඔෆ් ද ෆැකල්ටි ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් ෆෝමර් ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් ග්‍රැජුවේට්ස් ඔෆ් ද යුනිවර්සිටි ඔෆ් ශ්‍රී ජයවර්ධනපුර පේරන්ට්ස් ලේඩීස් ඇන්ඩ් ජන්ටල්මන් ටුඩේ යු හැව් ගොට් සම්තිං දැට් නෝ පර්සන් හු හැස් බීන් ඉලෙක්ටඩ් to the office of president of sri lanka has ever managed to get you have got a university degree that alone makes me very proud of you today is probably the happiest day in your life it is definitely the happiest day in your parents lives this is the moment this is the day for which they have been waiting all these years when you will launch yourself as a qualified free citizen into the society of sri lanka hoping to fulfill the dreams that they have only had for their lifetimes just think for a moment before you leave this hall and your university life for the last time how sri jayawardenepura university has transformed your life you have not just gained new knowledge and new skills Many of you have gained a working knowledge of English which will stand you in good stead whether you work in Sri Lanka or overseas. Most importantly, you have found batchmates who will remain your friends for the rest of your life. Even today, I'm old enough to be the grandfather to some of you. I still keep in touch with my batchmates. And I think especially in this year that we have seen most of you have discovered for the first time probably in your lives a certain political awareness you became aware that something is deeply wrong with our country and many of you peacefully protested to change that and you succeeded and for that all of us citizens of sri lanka have to be grateful today sri lanka is in a crisis it is in a crisis because people didn't have something that every one of you has a mother who has lots of our mothers are people i think you will all realize who are rich in a thing called common sense if you think about it our primary problem started with the inflation we are seeing in our economy as a result of the central bank the governor of the central bank 2 years ago going on to print 2.3 trillion rupees in paper money money that was not supported by growth in the economy that always leads to inflation common sense says that if you look at the other countries in the world every country that has done that has had a financial collapse an economic collapse the governor of our central bank highly qualified professional academic phd from the university of oxford denied that there was a link between money supply and inflation didn't use common sense your mother would not have done that and that's why we have this problem we saw what happened with organic agriculture overnight the government decided to change agricultural policy the agricultural expertise that has been taught by universities for the last 50 years scientific modern agriculture was put aside and we decided to take agriculture back by 100 years to the 19th century common sense said you should look at any other countries in the world there are more than almost 200 countries in the world has any country successfully done this no so then common sense says it's unlikely that you will be the first successful one that's what your mother would have said and we didn't listen to mother and we got it wrong that caused our problem even people who are highly competent and qualified when they don't use common sense can make serious mistakes we made that with the dhammika panya we had the government telling us that the dhammika panya is a cure for covid if it is a cure for covid how come that pfizer and moderna and astrazeneca sold 100 billion dollars worth of covid vaccines last year sri lanka should have got that 100 billion dollars for successfully selling the dhammika panya but we didn't common sense said they were wrong 
So when people reject science, when people reject the learning that you have received at university, they can make huge mistakes. Science, as you have learned, is about testing hypotheses. It's about evaluating evidence. It's not about listening to the most qualified person. You have learned to question everything. But today you are graduating at what is the most difficult time in Sri Lanka's post-independence history. Our economy is in ruins. The government has stopped recruiting new staff. The private sector is shrinking rapidly. The private sector has lost more than half a million jobs this year alone. Things are bad. But the fact is, whichever government we get, whichever president we elect in the future, it won't really make a difference. Because coming out of this kind of economic crisis is a very slow, long, tedious process. It's not going to be as bad, however, as some people say. I hear people saying that Sri Lanka will end up like Zimbabwe. I don't think that will happen. We have people like you in Sri Lanka, which Zimbabwe doesn't have. We have a intellectual foundation to our society. But we might end up looking like Argentina. It's a good thing to Wikipedia Argentina. A hundred years ago, Argentina was the 15th richest country in the world. On average, Argentinians were richer than Italians, richer than French, richer than Irish. Today, they are one of the poorer countries in the world. All because of a lack of common sense in their political ideologies. In the last 20 years, Argentina has declared bankruptcy, not once, like we did on the 12th of April this year, but nine times. So you can expect that Sri Lanka also will declare bankruptcy again and again in the years to come. Unfortunately, that is the way that the world works. So recovering from this crisis in which we find ourselves is not going to finish in a year or two years. It might take 10 or 20 years or longer. It will take a generation. And you are the generation that can drive that recovery. You have the advantage of graduating from one of the best universities in Asia. The University of Sri Jayapadanapura, especially your faculty, the Faculty of Applied Sciences, publishes on average one paper every day in an international indexed peer-reviewed journal. That is an astonishing record. Almost two-thirds of that come from environmental sciences or the natural sciences. So you can be confident that you have earned a degree of international standard. If you want to do a further degree anywhere else in the world, this foundation degree will stand you in excellent place. So yes, the coming years are going to be tough. They're going to be tough for all of us, but especially for you, because you are going to be out there looking for jobs for employment. I feel sad about that. But unfortunately, these mistakes have been made for no, no fault of your own, by a generation, by people other than yourselves. Our predicament is because of corrupt, crooked, ignorant politicians. They have been the curse of our country since independence. But I don't doubt for one moment that you have the skills, you have the intelligence, and you have the knowledge to be a force for change. This is your moment. This is your time. For the sake of our country, I hope you will be equal to this challenge. For that reason, and for the reason that I feel that Sri Lanka deserves your skills, your talent, your dedication, I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations and well done.